something you find all over the supermarket and products. Wood! You know what keeps prepackaged shredded cheese from clumping, pancake syrup thick, and ice cream smooth? You guessed it, wood pulp. They call it cellulose, but it's just powdered wood. Food companies love this stuff. In fact, yes, I have come across the videos where people call cellulose sawdust or wood chips. I wanted to see where the cellulose fear mongering originated from, and this is the earliest I could find of it. Maybe there were some myths floating around before that, but this was the earliest I could find. And if I didn't know better, I would think this is an SNL skit, but Unfortunately, she was serious. Now, what's funny is you could make the same exact argument for cinnamon, but you don't hear people going around fear-mongering about cinnamon because it's wood pulp or sawdust just because it's derived from wood. That would be ridiculous, right? And of course, cellulose can be derived from wood because cellulose is the main component of plant cell walls and trees are essentially just large plants. That does not mean that cellulose is the same thing as consuming wood chips or sawdust. Again, imagine making that same argument for cinnamon. This is of course used to fear monger and a lot of times to sell something. Some people had mentioned on that last video how Pampered Chef uses this as a sales tactic to sell their cheese graters. And I did find a lot of examples of this from people selling Pampered Chef using this exact same fear mongering to of course sell a product. Even in that last video, it wasn't as obvious, but she was telling people to shred their own cheese or to use a vegetable chopper to chop up sliced cheese. Of course, these items are being sold on her Amazon storefront. Fear-based marketing is so pervasive. Large companies use it all the time to sell their products. Wellness influencers use it on social media to sell products, get attention, get likes, get followers. Sometimes it's easier to spot. Sometimes it's a little more difficult to spot, but that's not even the wildest thing about this. Interestingly enough, the person that made this video over 10 years ago, she's now selling supplements with cellulose in them. And yet the ridiculous myths and misinformation still persist on social media today, unfortunately.